What's going on, Jerome? So the Minnesota Fighting Vikings and superstar receiver Justin freaking Jefferson working on a long-term extension this offseason. Now, th there has all there, there's been a, a lot of talk in the background. It's like, oh, hey, maybe the Vikings should trade Justin freaking Jefferson because he can't be happy that they let Kirky Wedge Jerome, who almost did it, Kurt Cousins, bad habits uh kurt cousins a uh, waltz off to atlanta uh for a four-year hundred million dollar guaranteed deal and he's got to be frustrated by that right even though the vikings are getting younger sleeker better building a bully of a defense building one of the best offenses in the national football league are perfectly positioned to find the quarterback of the future other than that obviously justin friggin jefferson would want to be traded because why would he want to stick around especially since the Vikings have completely tailored their salary cap strategy for 2025 and beyond to pay Justin Jefferson and take him, uh, make sure that he is the most compensated wide receiver in the National Football League, and rightfully so. He definitely deserves his cash. He's the face of the franchise and should stand purple long term, right? And, and all this talk, like, uh, I, I want to break the bank, blah, 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 even though he was led into that uh, answer by Adam Shine. People just decided, yeah, clip out the question. Yeah, go ahead. And of course, you know, Quasi at the combines and the Vikings were very close to a deal last offseason, but you know, deadlines I mean, deadlines uh, drive everything. It is a deadline-driven league, and the Vikings still had two years of control with Jefferson as he enters his fifth year option last offseason. And now, now now it's where the rubber meets the road. Because after the fifth year option, he could be a true blue free agent. Yes, the franchise tag certainly is in play. Uh, but there hasn't been any rumor, speculation, innuendo directly coming from uh, sourced from the Jefferson camp or the Vikings that he would want to trade, right? So right now, it's speculation for the barroom and it's speculation for the national media jabronis. So Craig Carton, formerly a boomer and Carton, hmm, uh, but... FS1 decided to go all in and basically make him the face of their daytime talk show programming, wh whatever. Also, is on the radio, I'm sure. And the reason why we always rail against the national media jabroni haircuts is because, so there's 32 teams, multiple sports, right? And the average football fan, Joe 12 Pack, like he ain't as dialed in on a singular team, you know, like you and I are as fans of the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. So they get their impression of the Vikings and Justin Jefferson, and they take their cues from the national media jabroni haircuts because there's only so much, uh, well, haircut may be a bad term for Carton, although I should I should talk. Mm. Uh, but they get their cues from the national media jabroni haircuts, and if they're, this is why I always rail against the mainstream media because they're always poo-pooing on the Vikings, and that gives casual fans around the globe uh, an impression about the Vikings, which can't stand for, can't abide by it. And Carton is just completely off base here and it's almost like they get paid by the degree of how wrong they are and, and again someone uh, Carton's probably making a couple milli this season to spew this level of it, it, it's so ignorant it's ignorant I hate it I hate it man but basically he's on there saying that the Vikings got to trade Justin Jefferson here, here's the full quote quote if you have a hundred million guaranteed in front of you and take and take the money uh, put your pride aside about wanting to play with a great quarterback and win a championship. Money is better than championships all day, every day. So he's talking back to how the Vikings and and and, uh, Qua and Jefferson were very close uh, to having a deal last off season. Probably had a hundred million guaranteed, etc. Basically, say just take the money. Money is better than championships all day, every day. Oh really? Oh really? Now here's the thing: it's not an eat this or that situation, and also it isn't correlated that hey, if you take less money, that you will win a championship. Ain't there, man. You can have both. And also, I think Charles Barkley would have paid just a, just a smidgen to have a, a championship ring so he wouldn't have to hear it from his guy, MJ, all, all the time. Or do you think that uh, Diamond Dan Marino would take a little bit of something something off of his isotoner money just to have that ring just once? I feel like the best player to never win a championship is the most backhanded compliment that you can get. Stuff, man. Mm. Carton continues uh, th this idiocy. That being said, you got to trade Jefferson because if he has turned down a contract that would make him the first or second highest paid wide receiver in the history of the NFL, he's telling you, I'm not resigning here. So you better get value for him while you can. And I think uh, of those three, talking about Jefferson Lamb and Jamar Chase, who are eligible for extensions, Justin Jefferson is the most likely to be dealt, if not by the draft, then the trade deadline of this upcoming season because Minnesota is not going to be a, a good football team. Oh, Rary. Oh, Rary. Uh, again, this man gets paid a couple milli 
just to put this nonsense out into the atmosphere. It's just ridiculous. It's just absolutely ludicrous. And also, like we said, Joe Twelve Pack, casual NFL fan, sees it's like, oh yeah, I mean the Vikings are gonna be bad. I'm gonna Justin Jefferson bear, 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 ask for a trade. Hmm. Now, part, piecing together everything. So there has been zero goose egg. Andrew Russell steam uh, of Jefferson wanting to be traded because don't you think if you're an insider that this this is that would be a nugget that you would just sink your teeth into. So you would think that any shred, any shred, any semblance of someone close to Justin Jefferson or his agent or anyone is just like, uh, you know, maybe JJ would like to be traded. Don't you think that that would be ran with? But the fact that there has been zero, nada, zero, goose egg, D'Angelo Russell uh, speculation uh, or uh, r- rumors that Justin Jefferson wants to be traded. Don't you think that there's nothing there? Kind of crazy, right? Or don't you think from the other side, if J.J. had been obstinate about his contract negotiation or if J.J. had been talking to the team that he wants to be traded, don't you think that that would be leaked as well? Hmm? Trying to win uh, over the public in the court of public opinion? It's weird, man. So this is all just fiction. This is all because of the mock drafts uh, uh, potentially trading up as well as this is all just the media because they don't want the Vikings and Jefferson to be happy together. And th- it's just like Anthony Edwards. They, they don't want Edwards and Minnesota and the Timberwolves to just be happy together. They hate it. They hate it. Because, uh, again, Cra- Craig Carton is a, a dyed-in-the-wool New York media East Coast biased jabroni. So, of course, it's like, hey, hey, you know it would be a great place for Justin Jefferson? Probably the Jets. So stupid. Idiocy. But you know, we, we've gone down the list of why J.J. hasn't signed his contract as of yet. So, I mean, last offseason – it's very rare for a player and or team to sign a contract with multiple years remaining. And when the Vikings picked up his fifth year option, they had two years left. Yeah, he was eligible for extension. But if you're Jefferson and if you're his agent, it would if you're his agent, like you, you would have a general idea that the cap is going to skyrocket in 2024. So it would be who who you to sort of wait and see how much that cap is going to rise uh, so that you can get a larger piece of the pie where you probably wouldn't have gotten it uh, t- with two years remaining last off season because, I mean, teams generally like to hedge their bets. So like, yeah, the cap is probably going to go up, maybe, but maybe it didn't. So they wouldn't give him a commensurate contract with the cap rising just in case it didn't. But also, so the uncertainty of quarterback, structure of the guarantees, multiple years, blah, 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 the unknown cap rise. That's why he didn't get done, like we said. And also, they're waiting for CD and Jamar. All right, so JJ is going to get paid up here. I think it's going to be a ridiculous amount of money. I think it's going to be 36, 37, 38 million. That is the market rate for the tier one, uh, the best of the best receivers. And CD and Jamar, probably going to get 35 million a year. But JJ is competitive, he, he knows his value. He wants to win, and he wants that number one contract uh, during this offseason, and that's perfectly fine. The Vikings want to pay it. The money is going to be there. They have the cash space that can do it. And we jokingly put in Sam Darnold. I don't think that's an issue. Hmm. I mean, sure, yeah, he did have an affinity for Kirk because Kirk was his quarterback through the first three, uh, first four years of his career. But he's not anymore. Oh, yeah, life goes on. And whoever the quarterback to be TBD is going to be, whether it's Darnold, whether it's May, whether it's Daniels, whether it's McCarthy, whether it's whoever, J.J. will make it work with, with them, and they'll, they'll be good to go. And they're going to keep the MSN attack still going strong. But, I, again, I mean, Craig Carton, come on. R- r- I, again, this is example 5,972 why we rally against the national media Jeroni haircuts. So that's, a, that's the only reason – it's one of the reasons why – like we have this niche because Vikings fans know that everything all up on that TV, on ESPN, on NFL Network, on FSN is biased against the Vikings. It's biased against anyone associated with the Vikings. And we're, we're fighting here to speak truth. That's all we want. And, and that that's the thing too. Just cover the Vikings objectively as opposed to always pushing your thumb down on the scale. That's all we want. That is all we want. But now, nah, got faith. Everything's going to work out. Vikings draft their future franchise quarterback. JJ extension gets done before the start of the season. Vikings shock the world, and all the haters and the losers will be in shambles. Oh, over under six and a half wins? Please. Please, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Craig Carton, clown shoes. Listeners, let us know in the comment section below. You guys are the best. You know what to do. Skull, production value.